Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installation of mirror caps on a Mark 7 GTI. So here we have three different variations for Mark 7 mirror caps. Here we have the original version, this one we removed from our vehicle, which is white. Normally if you were to purchase it, it would come primed and they aren't available to come painted. Here we have our carbon fiber one. This is a direct replacement of the original cap. Many of the aftermarket ones you see that are carbon fiber will just stick on to your original cap with some sort of double-sided adhesive tape or something. Here we have our European brushed aluminum version. This would come on other models in Europe but isn't available in the US. When we start to replace the mirror glass, we can start by pushing in and we'll have to get our fingers behind this part of the mirror to remove the glass. But you want to be careful because if you pull too far at the edge, you're going to crack the mirror. So if you're replacing the glass, it's okay. Now we're also going to be replacing the mirror caps during this process to which you also have to take the glass out. So if you don't have a new glass, you wanna make sure you don't break your glass. And what you almost wanna do is I have my finger kinda of down as far as I can get it here. And then we can just pull. So as you can see, we got it off there, no problem. We do have some wires on here for the heated part of the mirror. And as you can see here, what holds this on is this metal tab and then all these plastic clips here. So we can just slide these off the glass and then you pull the wires out of their associated clip holes and we can put our mirror glass down now to remove the cap there are two clips here and here and the mirror cap slides forward towards the front of the vehicle. So what you have to do is release the clips and slide it forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our trim tool and pop the clip down and then slide the cap forward. Uh, pop back on us. So, and once you get that released, it'll kind of come a little bit and then you're gonna have to get the other side. So as we get the other side, pop it down. So as we're prying, we're pulling back uh, and we have both of our tabs released and it'll release. Now sometimes it'll come off a little harder than that and then we can pull our cap off. And as you can see here on the back of this cap, here are our clips that hold it in place and then here are our guide pins that kind of have their own spot on this mirror assembly, one of them being right here and here and then the tabs lock in here and over here. So as we go to install our carbon fiber cap, we remember we're lining up these notches and we have to get our locking tabs in place. So we're gonna slide it on and you can kind of, what you wanna do is look from the opposite side and get the tabs that lock it in place lined up. Now, you might want a flashlight to help you with this. All right, so when we get our mirror cap into this position where you have this tab is in place, this one's not quite in place yet, but as you can see here, this side of the cap is really tension fit. So we have this hook tool that, and that you kind of need to use to get the rest of the mirror cap in place. So you're gonna need it to get over that lip. You don't need a hook tool per se, you might be able to use a screwdriver or something like that. That's just what we have handy that was helpful for us. So as you can see, when you get that in place, it kind of just snaps in place. So we are going to install this mirror glass. We're installing one that we had that was chipped. Um, so don't, don't worry about that. That's, that won't be the way that yours looks. And we want to start by making sure we install the uh, heater elements back onto the glass. So I'm going to slide them on to their terminals. And then there are some notches in the back where you, you snap the wires in place. So as we snap this back on, now we mentioned this is what holds all the glass in place on the motor here. So all you're gonna do is 
sit it in place and then push down. Now, the important part is to push down evenly at where this circle would be in the center because if you push down too hard on one side of the glass or the other, you could potentially crack it. And sometimes if you apply pressure unevenly, it'll snap the one side of the glass too far on and actually bow the mirror out. So if you look in your mirror and it is, if it's misshapen, it's because it's not sitting flat. So you may have to pop it back out, but we're all on and everything is good. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.